Hello everyone, in today's After Effects scripting tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a copy and paste effects script. Now the goal of this script is simple. Rather than having to press Ctrl C or Command C and paste the effects, what we're going to do is create a script that will have a copy button, which will allow us to simply copy the active effects on our layer, and then we can select any other layer and paste them onto it. Now today we're just going to be going over the bare bones of this script, to be exact, we're going to be gathering all of the effects, all the effect values, which is going to be the first value of the each effect, which in this case would be curves and matte black too. We're also going to get the names of the effects. So if the user had say, change this to a custom name, uh, when we paste the effect, it will also have that name. And then finally, we'll get the property names as well. We're only gonna be dealing with some of the data because the rest for, is for you to go off on your own and figure out. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this is going to work. I have here a clip with some curves and a tint applied. So what I'm gonna do is click on copy. And what I can do is go ahead and just bring in another layer here. And this time I'm going to select my layer and click on paste. So now you can see we have our curves brought in here as well as our tint. You'll also notice that the first value of this tint effect was brought in, which is this dark red color. Once we get to the end of this tutorial, I'll give you a couple of tips on how to further expand this, but that's how the script is going to function, so let's go ahead and get started by opening a new JavaScript file. Go ahead and zoom in here a little bit, and the first thing we're going to do is make a global variable called the effect array. This is going to end up storing all of our information from the effect match names to the effect names to what these values are to any other data we need. Next up, we need to go ahead and make this UI very quick, but as you can see, it's just a window with two buttons. So very easy UI to make. We'll start off by creating our main window, which will be equal to a new window with type palette. We'll call it copy paste FX and with an undefined size. Then we'll grab our main window and set the orientation to column, so top to bottom. And then we're just going to need one group, which we'll call the button group to contain all of our buttons. And we're going to add this to the main window. And it's going to be a group, undefined size, and we'll just call it the button group. Then, like usual, we'll set the orientation for our group as well. We'll do that left to right, so row. And then we're just going to need a copy button and a paste button. So I'll grab my copy button and paste button. And each of these are going to be equal to our button group add. We're going to add a button with undefined size and the text is going to say copy. Speaking of copy, I'll copy and paste this text here and just change the name to paste. Now we just need to grab our main window, center it and grab our main window again and show it. Now if we hit F5, you can see we're getting an issue here. I cannot add it to a button because that's undefined. It needs to be our button group. Let's try it again. All right, so now we've got our UI working. That's the easy part out of the way. Now what we need to do is create a function for each of these buttons. One to copy all of the effects, which will grab the selected layer and go through all of these effects. And the other one to paste them, which will again grab the selected layer, go through the effect array and apply all the effects we previously got. We can also say if the effect array is empty, if the user never copied, tell them you can't paste because there's no data to paste. All right, so now we can go ahead and set up our on-click functions. So I'll grab my copy button and my paste button. And for each of these, we're gonna say on-click equals a function, and we're gonna have our brackets as usual. And I'll put this for each of them. Inside of each of these, we're going to have a function for pasting and copying. So below all of it, I'm going to create an, a function called copy effects. And the only thing we're gonna take in here is a layer. And then same thing for paste effects, we'll take in a layer, which is gonna be the layer where we're dealing with our effects, and that should be good there. Now inside of our copy button to onclick, when we click on copy, what do we want to do? Let's go ahead and run our copy effects function, and we need to pass through a layer. So we're going to assume when they run this script, they have their layer selected. So we're gonna grab our app.project.activeitem, so the active item or selected comp, and then inside of that comp, we wanna look at all of the selected layers and just grab the first one. We're going to assume they only have one selected. In the future, you can expand this to work for multiple layers, but uh, for the sake of this tutorial and processing time 
and bug testing time we're not going to today. And then we can do the same thing down here for our paste effects. Just change it from copy to paste. And now we are into our functions. We just need to start writing the code to copy all the effects and paste them. Just to make sure we're getting inside of here, I'm going to alert inside copy effects just to make sure we're getting that when we click on it. So as you can see, we are now successfully going into that function and now we can begin coding some more. The first thing I'm going to do is create a couple of arrays to store our data. The first one called all effects, the next one called all effects values, the next one called all effects names, and lastly, all effect property names. Now I'm not going to be using all of these arrays to paste and copy the data. These are sort of here just as guides to show you what data you can extract from the effects. So once we have all of these, what we need to do is loop through all of the already established effects in our selected layer. So say we had this layer selected here, we already have two effects applied. So what we need to do is go through as many effects as we have in our layer. So to do this, we'll create a for loop Start it off at var i equals 1 for effect number 1, and i is less than or equal to our layer dot effects. So we want to go into the effects of our layer, and we want to check the num properties. This will tell us how many effects there are, so this should actually give us two if we were to alert this. And you can see we have two effects inside of there. If they have zero effects, it will actually just skip it. So now inside of our for loop, we can start pushing everything into our new arrays. So I'll go ahead and write down each one, all effects, all effects values, and the others. And we're going to want to push into each of these as their arrays and not integers. So for the first one, all effects, I'm gonna grab my layer, effect i, or the current effect it's looking at, and I wanna push the match name. This is definitely something we're going to be using because we need the match name to paste the effects back on. For effects values, what we're going to do is push in our layer to effect i, the first property dot value. Now, for this particular case, you may want to push in a multi-dimensional array. Let's say you had three properties in your effect tint here. Well, we're only getting the first effect or first property in this case. If you wanted to expand, you would need to push in, say, a an array of multiple values, like value one, value two, value three, and then you would need to have another uh, array to track how many in each effect there are. So for this case, we're just gonna use a single value because that's rather easy. All right, for all effect names, we're just gonna be grabbing the name of the effect. So I'll say dot push uh, layer dot effect i dot name. And that will give us the actual name rather than the specific match name for After Effects. Then lastly, for the property names, I'm going to grab layer effect i dot property uh, we'll grab the first property because previously we got the first property value and we'll grab the name of it. Now obviously we can't go in and change the name of curves or channel or map black to or amount to tint. We're getting this data simply because there are some effects or some properties inside of After Effects that we cannot really change. For example, the curves effect is a custom property type and we can't really change it. So if there's a specific effect or property you know the name of, you can use these to check it. All right, so now what I wanna do inside of my copy button to on click, I wanna grab my effect array, which is global, and set it equal to our copy effects function. Now inside of our copy effects function, we need to return something so that we can have our value here, effect array, equal something. So we're going to return sort of a multi-dimensional array, uh, array. So what we're going to do is say return in the first index all effects, and we're just gonna run through the line here. All effects values, all effects names, and all effect properties. Now, when we run our copy effects function, our global variable, which has access to all of our functions, will have our effects, their values, their names, etc. inside of it. Now, if we go into our paste effects, what we're gonna do is just say alert effect array. The first thing I wanna do is make sure we're copying the data. So I'll run the script, click on copy, and then paste. 
So now you can see we're getting some data here. Let's take a look. So the first thing we get is Adobe Curves, Custom, Adobe Tint. These are our all effects, which is grabbing the match names. This is information we need to tell when we paste the effects back in. Then we have a bunch of values, which are equivalent to the first value of each of these effects. The channel is selection one on the dropdown, and the tint has a custom color value. So you have 0 0.133, 0 0.188, and 0 0.188 uh, as your RGB. And then lastly, we have our effect names and property names. So we have curves, tint, channel, and map black too, just like we talked about earlier. All right, so now we've got all of our effects and stuff copied. Now all we have to do is go through and paste them onto a new layer. So inside of our paste effects function, the first thing I'm gonna do is set up an app.begin undo group. And we're just gonna call this paste effects. And then we'll create an app.end undo group. Now anything we put in between here can easily be undone by pressing Control Z after execution. This will allow us to easily undo our pasting if we need to. So next up, all we need to do is loop through any bit of our array because all of the lengths are going to be the same. What I mean by that is each of these uh, arrays here we pushed are all going to have the same number of values because we're going through the same number of times. So we can grab any of these to loop through and get the proper number. Uh, I'm just going to use the all effects array. So I'll create a for loop bar i is equal to zero, i is less than uh, all effects dot length, and we're starting at zero because it's an array. Now for our inside of our layer dot effects, we want to add a property, and this property we want to add is all effects index i. So this will go through and grab our Adobe Curves custom on the first time through and add it to our layer. Then it's going to grab the Adobe Tint and add it to our layer, which physically actually adds the effects like this. Next up, we'll grab our layer again. And this time we're going to grab the effect I plus one. And the reason we're doing I plus one is because there is no effect zero. We need to add one as we're sourcing our for loop from an array. So because effects start at one, not zero, we need to add one. And then we're going to grab the first property before I forget, uh, we actually don't need to use all effects here. That's not a global variable. We need to grab our effect array index zero because effect array index zero is going to provide us with all effects, as you can see right here. And we also need to say it's up here instead of all effects, effect array zero dot length. And then we can loop through effect array zero index i and that will give us the values we need. All right, so to set up the property one set value, we'll grab our effect array again. This time we'll grab index one and then i again. And lastly, we'll grab effect i plus one again. And this time we're gonna change the name. So we'll grab our effect array index two because we have our effect names here and we're going to bring in i. All right, after our for loop here, what I'm gonna do is just say, done applying effects just so we know if it's done or not. So what I'm gonna do now is delete some effects on my layers here and run the script, copy it and paste it. So it's telling us it's done applying the effects, but I do not see that it actually has applied the effects. One thing I'm gonna try here is I'm gonna grab my effect array and I'm gonna try converting this to a string. Uh, sometimes the values might give us an issue there, so let's try that. So we'll copy it, paste it. All right, so just for debugging purposes, I'm going to do some right lines here and show you a quick process of how I debug when I have no idea what's wrong. So inside of this for loop, I know I'm getting past my for loop. So what I'm gonna do is, for my for loop, I'm gonna ask what is my effect array i value, length value, so that I know how many times it's supposed to loop through. Then I'm gonna check what i is each time through. Then I'll check what this value is each time through. And I'm gonna go through and just make sure I can get the values here. All right, let's see if this will give us the results we need. Run the script, copy it, and paste. You can see we're getting a length of zero. I actually made a pretty dumb mistake, so what I need to do is actually copy the effects first. I don't even know my own script. So I'll copy my effects on my other layer and paste them here. And as you can see, we're now getting our curves and tint effect applied. And don't forget, it's name sensitive. So if I change this to curves 
FX, something custom like that. I can then copy and paste it, and it's going to remember the name. So you can go through here and adjust any of the array values we set up, essentially saying that you can go through and get more of the values, do more modifications with this basic setup. So like I was saying, I was going to briefly explain how you can expand upon this. So right now we're in all effects values, we're only getting the value of property one, which again, for curves, property one is this channel. For tint, property one is map black two. What you might wanna do is create another for loop. And in this one, you want to go through and check how many times or how many properties there are. Then you can basically push those properties into this all effects into a multi-dimensional array and find another way to paste those. But that's gonna do it for today's tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's how to create a copy and paste effects script for After Effects. Of course, as always, make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, smash the subscribe and bell button next to it to be notified of new uploads. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the description. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.